the name of the song, His Burden's Light. That was by Austin's Bridge, and this is the Gospel Time Program. I'm the host, Dave Rigg, and during this half hour, it's going to be my privilege to bring to you the Gospel of Jesus Christ in song. Here's a song from the Freemans. It's called, I Need a Drink. You're listening to Gospel Time. A seven Old boy on the east side of town gets caught up in a bad drug deal when it goes down, and another ten year old baby girl's missing the night. Why her heartbroken mom and dad? For that little girl's life When I get depressed From all the bad news on TV I need a drink Lord, I need a drink From the river of life My soul has a thirst And my hope is run dry I need an escape only you why this world slowly sinks I need a drain I need a drain I've tried to quit reaching for crutches and do this alone Be strong and handle the stress of this world on my own. But Lord, you're a habit I just can't seem to give up. I'm addicted to your love and how you fill my empty cup. I catch myself reaching for you, Lord. When I am weak, I need a drink. Lord, I need a drink from the river of life. My soul has a thirst and my hope is run dry. I need an escape only you can provide while this world slowly My soul has a thirst and my hope 
In the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 4, verse 29, God's word says, If you seek the Lord your God, you will find him, if you look for him with all your heart and with all your soul. Would you pause just a moment with me for a word of prayer? Our Heavenly Father, as we look at the world around us, we see so many people always striving for more. More money, more possessions, more success in life. Well, Lord, we too seek more, but we seek more of you. Lord, we want to know more of you, and we want to see more of you in our lives each day. This we pray in the name of Jesus, and amen. There's only one thing that I long for When I reach, reach my home on high to see my Jesus in His glory And to reign with Him on high I'll be so glad to see my mother Who has gone, gone on to that land But I long to see my Jesus And by His side to stand So I'll keep my Savior with me on my journey. Report. Squad 1 is pinned down at Sector 7, sir. The supplies are getting low. Casualties are at 35%. Radio Squad 2 to pull back and regroup with Squad 1 in Sector 7. Urgent message coming in from Squad 2, sir. What is it? This is Bravo 3 to Squad 2. Please repeat. Over. Ah! Uh, they want a pizza, sir. What? No anchovies. In the midst of life's battles... What do you pray for? So what they say? We're supposed to regroup with Squad 1 in Sector 7. No, no. What about the pizza? They said, uh, no. Oh, man. Squad 1 asked for reinforcements, and we have to go help. I asked for a simple pizza, and I get nothing. 
The Bible says when you ask, you do not receive because you ask with wrong motives, that you may spend what you get on your pleasures. Are you seeking God's will in your prayers? A message from Lifeline Productions. Our next song is from the Perrys. This is called The Holy Shore. I hear God's children testify We're troubled, sick, and worn Soldiers fainting in the fight Not wanting to go on Our knees are sore from bowing Yet we know that's how we win So It will be worth all the pain. Oh, weary worker, I know that you've heard that will soon be going home, sweet intercessor. It will be better. just pretend that you love others, really love them. Hate what is wrong, stand on the side of the good. Love each other with genuine affection and take delight in honoring each other. Never be lazy in your work, but serve the Lord enthusiastically. Be glad for all God is planning for you. Be patient in trouble and always be prayerful. 
When God's children are in need, be the one to help them out and get into the habit of inviting guests home for dinner or if they need lodging for the night. If people persecute you because you are a Christian, don't curse them. Pray that God will bless them. When others are happy, be happy with them. If they are sad, share their sorrow. Live in harmony with each other. Don't try to act important, but enjoy the company of ordinary people. Romans chapter 12, verses 9 through 16 from the Holy Bible, New Living Translation. This is Gospel Time, a radio ministry. We depend upon your prayers and financial support to keep us on the air in your area and on your favorite radio station. If you'd like to help us, write to us at Gospel Time, Box 68, Bone Gap, Illinois, 62815. Write us today. Now on Gospel Time, it's hymn time. First impressions. Sometimes what you see is not what you get. A farmer walked into a bank and was treated rudely because of the way he looked. So he closed out his bank account, and he was one of their biggest customers. A car broke down along a Chicago highway. The only person who stopped was a man driving a rusty old car, but he happened to be a mechanic. 
35-year-old man showed up at a Major League Baseball tryout with three little kids. The scout laughed, but he threw 12 pitches at 98 miles an hour and became the oldest Major League rookie in nearly three decades. It's hard not to judge people by the way they look or act. But James Chapter 2 says that's wrong. As our stories tell, first impressions can be deceiving. So always look at people in the light of James Chapter 2. God doesn't play favorites. And neither should you. A thought from inside our daily bread. Oh, yeah, those are good thoughts, too. Now we listen to the Skyline Boys on Gospel Time. Has it ever crossed your mind Why the mountains seem so high You really need to know God sent those struggles so you grow He's won the victories you have known He takes care to Genesis with Dr. John Morris, creation researcher and scientist with ICR. Dr. Morris, what can you tell us about the design of the heart? Chris, the human heart is the world's most efficient pump. The heart muscle is much like the muscles in your arms and legs, yet it's a special muscle which doesn't tire. Although the heart is only about the size of a fist, it squeezes blood through an intricate network of about 60,000 miles of blood vessels every moment of your life pumping about 70 times per minute and 36 million times each year. 
Chris, how could the time and chance processes of evolution come up with such a perfectly running mechanism on which our very life depends? It couldn't, and it didn't. God is the designer of this fascinating machine called the heart, and he did so back in Genesis. To discover more facts that support your faith, visit us on the web at www.icr.org. That's www.icr.org. Time for one more song. Here's Karen Peck and New River. This is called Hey. Hey, what you gonna do when the Lord comes back for His chosen few? Hey, what's you gonna find? Will your heart be waiting or feel the gloom? Are you gonna be ready? Cause it's gonna be soon. You're gonna be ready cause it's gonna be soon Can you see the clock how it ticks away? In the blink of an eye it's a judgment day There's a great reward or it's time to pay Better make up your mind he could be on his way Soul be happy or your heart feel dread. There's a straight and narrow or a path of sin. Well, your time's running out, so I'll ask you again. Hey, 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 hey what you gonna do when the Lord comes back for His chosen few? Hey, what's you gonna find when your heart be waiting? I feel the gloom. Are you gonna be ready? Cause it's gonna be soon. That's all the time they're going to give us for today's Gospel Time program. A reminder that Gospel Time stays on the air in your area and on your favorite radio station because of your prayers and your financial support. If you'd like to help us, here is our mailing address. It's Gospel Time, Post Office Box 68, Bone Gap, Illinois, and our zip code is 62815. Thanks for listening to our program today. Till our next radio broadcast, if the Lord's willing, this is Dave Rigg asking the Lord to richly bless you.